good small batch and hold that so we can... Oh! <laughs> Le Grand Baby! I thought that that's a... You okay? It's not green. <laughs> it's green. Am I supposed to do it? <laughs> no. Where the f*** have you been? Emily in Paris is a comedy Netflix series that tells a story of aspiring marketing executive Emily Cooper, an American who moves to France to provide an American point of view to a French marketing firm. I'm trying here! The hotel staff. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> she can't. Uh, what is it? I'm so hot. Uh, oh. Oh. oh my god. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> There, she struggles to succeed in the workplace while searching for love and experiencing a culture clash with her conventional Midwestern U.S. upbringing. Why don't we do that again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be joining me on stage with these sirens. Helicopter time! With the original airing starting in October of 2020, it has gained recognition for its genre, with it having an overall score of 4.1 out of 5 stars, which is pretty good. But maybe it's the wrong, um... Can we just start again? I mean, this take is <laughs> Keep it real dirty. <laughs> what? <laughs> the show has also gained traction with all the twists and turns in the story. And speaking of, today we wanted to take a look at the most recent season and how they created it and some bloopers along the way. So let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> I know a good place in the jardin. <laughs> he called me. That's his name. It's not. But before we do that, some quick trivia for you. What other popular show is the creator of this show responsible for? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I went once a stuff. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That has to go on the blooper so, reel! So, so graphic. <laughs> we are all, uh, no. Why am I speaking English? <laughs> Lily Collins goes to explain her character in this season and her development from the previous season, starting with that strange air. Cut the bangs. Oh, when she cuts her bangs! So, yes. I mean, how can the show make this, first of all, like a cry for help, number one? <laughs> Which panicked me because I'm like, is something wrong? Sometimes is she people all cut right? bangs and everything's fine. When <laughs> 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 <Right? laughs> <laughs> women change their lives, they change their hair. And sometimes everything's fine. With this kind of series, there's bound to be numerous bloopers with this cast. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh, oh my God, you good? <laughs> no. <laughs> the whole series was shot entirely in Paris. Alongside Lily Collins, Lucas Bravo, Ashley Park, and Camille Raza, this show has shown that you can have a lot of fun behind the scenes and have many opportunities. Oh, Le pays. Mais la France est pour ça. Non, mais vraiment. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> I forgot his name. Ah! Comment ça? Lucien Laviscant, who also stars in this series, has been reported to be in the eyes of James Bond executives as the next 007. According to the Daily Mail, his work in Emily in Paris, where he plays the main character's love interest, is what landed him as a frontrunner for the job. I'm gonna take you over to hot air balloon. Oh, girl! <laughs> you got me! <laughs> you guys like circling. Hello, Air France. Nope. Ooh, ultimate frisbee and a beret. The thing that might hurt him, apparently, is his time on Celebrity Big Brother, on which he competed in 2011. According to the source, the Bond producers think it's lowbrow, not fitting, of a Bond actor, even though they're supposedly still pretty high on him in general. But we will just have to keep paying attention to the news and find out if he will for sure be in. Oh my gosh, it's just coming out really bitchy. Oh! You're sweaty. Mm. <laughs> sure of that with all of my customers. Where's the plate? The costume designer spoke briefly about the challenges that the series had with the continuation of the apparel and what they had to do to get the costumes correct and match with the story. 
Je pense que j'ai eu cette saison une plus grande liberté. Nous avons répertorié 14 000 pièces. Je pense que sur Lily, on a fait à peu près 43 looks. The fact that the series is a little upscale with the job and where the film takes place in Paris, so that was another factor in how in-depth they had to be in order to put the costumes together. Après euh, la, la, la fabrication aussi de cette cape pour Lily, euh, je voulais qu'elle ait cette espèce de d'apparence de petit oiseau gracile. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Cool. Forgot my lines. Do you have a line? I forgot my line now. Sorry. I forgot well. <laughs> Please prepare for an emergency landing. And a lot of the cast actually do speak French fluently, as well as the lead character, which is pretty interesting. I agree. You are. I agree. It's the most beautiful compliment. I was going to say Lucas. Lucas. Yeah. Wait, yeah. No, he's like, I think Lucas. he's very similar to his character. Oh, no. No, no, no. Ashley Park has said that the costumes play an important role in this story. In terms of how the character is feeling during that scene, it's a way to express that by what they're wearing. Never say never. <laughs> um. <laughs> And news has already broke out about season four. Season three and four were filmed back to back. So with that said, a season four is confirmed. I have been dreaming of moving to Paris forever, you know? I mean, French men, they love older women. Look at their president. He's young, he's hot, he married his school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, I'm so oh, bad at on. this game. Lily Collins. Uh, no! Definitely okay. And if you haven't been to watch season three yet, there is still plenty of time before season four hits Netflix as speculators think that it won't be done fully until around Christmas of this year. We were very surprised, very shocked, but also thank God we have a season four to get to leap right into that one right away. If you could describe season three as a French pastry, what would it be? Ooh. <laughs> Lucien Laviscant and Camille Raza come on to Good Morning America and give more insight into what season three is bringing to the table. 100%, I feel like I'm kind of Emily in Paris a little bit. <laughs> uh, my character didn't really have a good vibe with Paris season two, but uh, for me, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't see any cracks. There was so many things that happened in the finale that there were all these little like whispers around and I was like, wait, which one happens? And then I remember it finding out that all of them happened. I read episode 10 back to front just to see what was going down. It's such a surprise, uh, it's very dramatic, so I think people will love it. And with every new season of this show, the more spontaneous the hair and makeup gets. In general, the makeup is much bolder and more colorful this season. We played more with makeup, the lips, the eyes, this is Payen. Bruno, yeah, mm. totally, Bruno. Yeah, I broke oh my god, so many times. Bruno's the first Or, night oh my dad, my dad in the show too. He's oh, like, yes. oh, oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah, uh, I have to say that I can do only that. <laughs> <laughs> we did crazy fluorescent eyeliner, for example, for some characters. We did graphic eyeliner as well, the makeup artist explained. Right out of the gate, the biggest change in Emily's appearance is her bangs. They bring a little bit more of the French culture in the hair look. I did Rosetta Stone on the plane, but it hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's A for Ashley. No, 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 no. I meant to no, say B. Uh, we have also gotten to see some behind the scenes photos of the cast when they wrapped filming of season three. We can see the cast in the makeup chair and taking photos with their cast members and it looks like they had a pretty good time doing so. It's like every episode felt like you were taking a new bite and you didn't know what you were gonna get. En pain en raison. Ooh, yeah. Because when you bite inside, it looks like a croissant, but at some point you got grapes, but you never know when it's coming. Oh, I nice. like that. The cast from season three take a look at the trailer of this season and give their take on the other characters' development and some behind the scenes facts. Okay, Gabrielle's getting fancy. <gasps> that was the last scene that I shot of the whole season, which means a lot to me, and I got to finish it with my two favorite, favorite people. Remember yes, when he was just a chef here and he made you eat his meat? Mindy. Excuse me? Sorry, inside joke. And one of the reasons why this show is so popular among fans is not only the theme, but the drama behind it all, and the choices, and of course the fashion elements, along with seeing all of what we see of Paris because it was shot there and not a set to look like Paris. <laughs> I have hosted. Oh, that's true. 
To me too. Andy Fleming or Darren Starr. They've never thrown us apart. What about Ashley? Okay. Yeah, no, Ashley. No, it's Darren me. had get togethers with people and things like that. I was never invited. What are you talking about? You were there! And in terms of our trivia question, Darren Starr is responsible for the very popular show, Sex and the City. I don't know if it's the same one in English, actually, but Tectonic Area. No, you know, 2000, that? when we were dancing like that? Oh. And we were wearing, uh, it was only in Europe or what? Oh, I no? want to see photos. Oh my god, it's, it was hideous. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what do you guys think about all these moments, and what are your expectations for season 4? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Hello, I am glad to present you San Pellegrino. Uh, what there is very with many, how do you say, pitiant, uh, gado, frizzante, uh, the frozen water.